This is a 1989 Mondial T Coupe. It's one of 43 coupes they made for the North American market out of a global production of 860 T Coupes. Uh, it was kind of an unusual car in that it was the first Ferrari to get ad adjustable shocks, ABS brakes, and power assisted steering. It's definitely more of a GT car. I mean, you could literally cruise for hours on this on the highway, get out and feel completely refreshed. It doesn't ride hard. It's relatively quiet. It has enough of the you know beautiful V8 engine sound coming through to you know not get bored. Um, and you can carry three of your passengers. Uh, two really short ones in the rear. Really short ones in the rear. Really short. So this has the um, the dogleg box versus down here, gated shifter of course, Ferrari trademark, mm -hmm. and the gearing is really nice. I mean, on the highway, 80 miles an hour, you're turning about 3,600 RPM, so you're right in that sweet spot of the uh, of the power band for this motor. I picked this car up from just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. It was a four hour ride home and the car did it flawlessly. Uh, had, you know, not a single issue and um, it was just a nice ride. It's had a transverse mounted. Transverse, right. Right. And so what they did with the Mondi LT versus earlier iterations of the Mondi L is they switched the motor around and they made it longitudinally mounted. Uh, so what that did is it lowered the whole center of gravity of the car and they slung the transmission out back. So the car is just phenomenally balanced when you're going around corners. You can really feel the difference that change made. I think the connectedness of this car would surprise a lot of people only because when the Mondial was introduced, it really got panned by the critics, and rightly so. The first Mondial was the 8, which had, you know, 200 horsepower, um, was kind of flabby in the handling department, and uh, really didn't benefit from a lot of the upgrades that they gave the later iterations of the Mondial. So when you get in this car, the T was the ultimate evolution of the Mondial. The steering is fantastic. The brakes are fantastic. And the power, while I wouldn't say it's fast by today's supercar standards, 300 horsepower in a car that weighs 3,200 pounds is right about where you want to be on most roads. It's yeah. really nice. 